<sighs> well, good morning. This is day three. It's Saturday. And we're going to have a big old busy day. I hope I can do some updates and maybe a live sometime. I know it's going to be after that that happens, but whatever. We're going to go to a Bucky's. Because, yes, a Bucky's. And then we're going to the Mammoth, the Mammoth Museum. And then we're going to go to the Dr. Peppa Museum. And then drive halfway across Texas. So, so far everything's been good except, well, our hotel stay here at uh, the, the Comfort Inn uh, near the airport at Wichita. It's, it's a noisy place, so I, I, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So, yeah. Um, so, th there's that. Uh, yeah. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see if the old girl can go to the last 1,400 miles. I think it's for 1,400 miles. And the weather looks uh, good. Move on. So we've been driving for over an hour, and now we're by Dallas, Fort Worth. And uh, this is Saturday morning, and this 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 is amazing traffic. I mean, it is unreal. The city is so freaking big, and it's like the first real traffic we've hit. Well since we've left uh, Nevada. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I couldn't fathom trying to do this during the week. This, the, the, good thing I picked Saturday to go through here, because this looks terrible. It's just, a, I guess, a lot of people moving right to this area. My God. Oh, wait, there it is. We'll see it up in the uh, distance. Uh, is that Dallas or Fort Worth? That's Dallas. But uh, so far, everything's been knock on wood, been good. You know, but uh, hopefully, we get when we get past past the Metroplex here, I think that's what it's called, the Metroplex. We'll. Uh, have smoother sailing down to uh, the Buckies in Hillsboro, Texas. Pure excitement now. We're at we're almost at Buckies. We're almost at Buckies. How exciting! Never been to a Buckies before. Hopefully, we can go look around inside because I've heard it's like you know a superstore of just convenience or a convenience superstore, something of that nature. But it's, it's right up ahead. So exciting. See, there's the sign right there. Hey, I'll grab, get some beaver, beaver nuts. Huh? Uh, yeah. I feel bad for that place over there. I don't even know what that is, but I feel bad for it. Because there's a Burger King in there and then a Shell station. Ah, uh, that's why it's nice to have a small car. All right. 93? 93! Cool. All right, so this is my uh, first Bucky experience. Wow, you can get deer horn. Food noodles with a beaver. Oh my god, this is crazy. They're free gun jerky. There's the, the, the beaver nuggets. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. This is like, this is like, oh my god. There's a bakery, coffee, tea. Oh, coffee we're gonna need. Texas Roundup. Oh, I can smell the brisket. Wow. Need barbecue supplies? Wow.
We gotta go find the jerky case. It's way in the oh, there it is. She's jerky right over there. Wow, this is insane. clothing and then of course fudge. Too fast fudge. It's crazy. Okay so we finished inside of Bucky's and it was a hard experience not to buy everything in the store. So we just got some travel foods and you see we got whatever these things are beaver nuggets. They're basically corn pops. They had the samples of these chocolate chip cookies. Of course you got that beef jerky and then some cinnamons for the uh, the other half so yeah this place is freaking amazing it is so big inside it is the size of a super walmart but it's like crazy so yeah there we are bucky all right back to the road okay so we just did the uh dr peppa peppa <laughs> museum tour and uh wow there's a lot there and uh but we had our first casualty of the trip. My uh, my window mount uh, decided to come apart. See the suction cup. Um, so this is tragedy at this point. And the other thing, but the other good thing is at the Dr. Pepper Museum, I get to finally try my coconut cream Dr. Pepper. I've I've wanted to try this all you know since they introduced it like two months ago. Um, it's not a paid advertisement. I just want to try to try the darn soda. Uh, so hopefully it's good. If it is, I'll look in local stores here because it's Texas and they should have, well, Dr. Pepper. Otherwise, I can't imagine they're allowed to stay in business. So, well, uh, we'll uh, so hopefully it will be, will be one more night in Texas and then tomorrow we'll be going through Louisiana, Mississippi, and into Alabama. So we're heading a home stretch here, and hopefully the hotel I booked tonight is better than uh, the uh, Comfort Inn in um, Wichita Falls, Texas University, which is an absolute dump, and I would never recommend anybody go there. So uh, yeah, and I, I will say it over again. I, it's it paper win, paper thin walls, man. All so uh, surviving on four hours of sleep right now. All right, we'll get on the road and drink our Dr. Peppers. So there's something fun that my dash is doing when I turn my lights on. See, we're just driving along. Ah, oh, look, everything woke up again. And it lights up like a Christmas tree. It's been doing this the entire trip. You see, the, except everything goes back on except the gas gauge. Because the gas gauge is like out on strike. So, yeah, oh, and now it's gone dead again. Yeah, but who needs, who needs, who needs speedometer in tack? But you know, it's, this is, uh, oh, there it is again. Hi, hello Dash, how are you doing? I see you, oh, everybody's here except for the gas gauge. Gas gauge is on strike. That's beautiful. 